Hey you guys, I'm here with another DIY and I'm going to go ahead and use this white chalk paint. I'm also going to go ahead and use this lime paint. I'm going to use the purple or lavender of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and use the yellow and blush pink. These are great colors for Easter. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and make a mini Easter DIY wood beaded garland. I already started with the green and look at how gorgeous that green is this is one of my favorite greens for easter i am loving it this year and i'm gonna go ahead and use more of it this little garden is gonna go onto my two-tier tray it's also gonna go ahead and display on my ray dunn birdhouse that i have right there which i will show you at the end i'm also gonna use a blue so i'm gonna use all these colors to make this garland and it's gonna come out super cute and super gorgeous once we're done the first thing i'm gonna do is i added these little beads onto the back of a paintbrush this is a great tip for you it's a must you won't get messy you don't have to dip it you don't have to touch the paint it's super easy and it's one of the best tips i can tell you of making a wood beaded garland now these wood beads are on the smaller side they're not the big ones they're a smaller size. I'm going to go ahead and look up the measurement and I'll link it down below. If I don't and I forget, just go ahead and comment down below and I'll let you know what size I end up picking up these beads. And I love them. They're the perfect size for these little birdhouses. I just wanted to show you something really quick, really simple that you can make. And also for your two-tier tray, this is a great size. You don't have to cut it down. You don't have to make it any bigger if you choose to make it bigger it's optional there's so many things you can do with this now go ahead and let the pink dry and we're going to move on to the next color so just go ahead and do one layer of the color let it dry and then let's move on to the second layer of the color it's that simple nothing's gonna mess with you just let it dry and move on i'm gonna go ahead and make sure you do the top and the bottom don't forget to do both sides. That way it gets an even coat of whatever you're doing. Let it dry. Make sure that your beads are dry before you even think about doing a next step. Because if you don't, they're going to go ahead and paint the burlap string. And they're going to mess up everything. They're going to get clumpy. They're going to get lumpy. And they're not going to look right. And we want this to look like you brought it. Like you purchased it on Etsy and it was $25 plus shipping. Or if you just brought it at Target and it was $9.99 plus taxes. So no, we want it to look better than that. So go ahead, when you're done with your paint, close it up. Don't let the paint open because if not, it'll dry off the paint. That's another tip. Always keep your paint closed because if not, it's going to dry up the paint. The paint's going to be trash and you're going to have to throw it away. Now the next color I'm using is this beautiful yellow which i have been loving this summer it is a great color and it just pops this yellow is nice and bright and i love it now i picked these um arts and crafts at walmart i'm gonna go ahead and do a little pop-up at walmart just to show you what's there i'm gonna go ahead and put that on my instagram so make sure you're following me on instagram i'll link the link down below make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give me a thumbs up just so you could catch up with all the latest DIYs and any tips, tricks, or money-saving ideas, I'm going to go ahead and put them on Instagram so you can have the first look. The next thing I'm going to pick up is this beautiful purple. It's a light purple. It's a lavender. It is gorgeous, and it's perfect for Easter. Go ahead and add this to your Easter routine and your Easter color, and trust me, it's going to just brighten up your house. It's so pretty. It's becoming one of my favorite colors this year so go ahead and do that make sure you do everything the top the bottom and just get it right take your time when you're making these diys they're so much fun especially for me i love painting now i take my time i sit down and i just paint away and then i show you what i came up with so there you go once you have it nice and painted go ahead and let it dry and if you choose once it's nice and dry go ahead and give it a second layer of paint if you think that you don't need it just forget about it but if not go ahead and do that now the next color i mix two colors to get one so i mix the white and the 
blue. I thought this blue was a little too dark, especially for Easter. So I end up putting a little bit of drops of the white paint into the blue paint. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and see what we come up with. And the color that we come up with is gorgeous. It's a light blue, like a light royal color, and it is gorgeous. This is one of my favorite colors as well. And I think I'm gonna start using this again. This blue is very pretty, especially since I have two boys. I think a nice blue goes perfect in my home. So I'll probably end up making a wood beaded necklace just out of this beautiful blue. And look at how gorgeous it just slides in. It is really, really gorgeous and I am loving it. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna move on to my last and final color, which is the white. I decided to use the white and not to leave it out. Since I do use white for everything, I thought why not for this um, garland? I thought it would be perfect and I'm gonna go ahead and paint it, let it dry and then paint it again. Make sure you do the top to bottom just so when it dries up, everything looks very nice. And look at how gorgeous everything's looking. Now, once you're done with this, we're gonna move on to step two. Make sure you have glue gun. And make sure you have a string of your choice. So it's really optional. Just make sure you have both of your choice. Now, I'm gonna be using this beautiful burlap string. I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna take it around my hands, all four fingers, 25 to 30 times. So you can use whatever you want, it's optional. If you want it medium size, do 25. If you want it on the thick side, do 30 times. I'm gonna go ahead and go around 25 times. And then once you have it ready, grab your scissors and you're gonna cut the bottom. Now you're ready for the next step, which is the ribbon. I'm gonna add this beautiful pink ribbon and I'm just gonna put it around my fingers. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb and I'm gonna go around a couple of times, nothing too big, but I do want it to show and I want the color to pop. So go around your fingers, take it a couple of times, one, two, three times is perfect for that, and then just cut it. So I'm gonna do three times. I'm actually gonna add another color of ribbon and it's just gonna be of the white and just a plain regular white ribbon the same size as the pink i just thought that would be pretty since i did have it might as well add it so i'm going to take it around my fingers and i'm going to go around two to three times as well before i cut it and then we're ready for the next ribbon and the next ribbon is going to be the blue i decided to add a nice blue to it since i already had that beautiful blue of royal blue that I used for the bead. I thought, oh, why not find a ribbon and that would be perfect to go with it. So go ahead and cut it and grab your next ribbon. If anything falls out of place, go ahead and put it back into place. It's that simple. Don't even worry about it. These are accidents, they happen all the time and they could be fixed easily. Look at how gorgeous this blue is. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take it around my fingers two to three times before I cut it. So all I'm doing is opening it up. I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers and then I'll cut it and we're ready for the next step. Make sure that your hot glue gun is running because we will use it to finish this garland and it's a must. Look at how pretty that blue is. So take it around one, two and then three times and then you're ready to cut so you can do whatever you want you can do four five six seven eight nine ten it's up to you depending on how thick you want the tassel once you're ready go ahead and grab a string of your burlap and we're gonna just slide it off our fingers we're gonna pinch it together and this next step is very important when you make the bow on top you're gonna want to make it as tight as you can make it super tight as tight as you can you don't want nothing moving nothing out of place just make it super tight and then we're gonna go ahead and make another one even tighter. So you're gonna do two to three knots right here and look at how gorgeous it's already looking and it's coming out. It is so pretty and do another knot, tight it as tight as you can and we're ready to move on to the next step. Fix anything you wanna be fixed or leave it adjusted. It's up to you, it's optional. 
and just move everything around and look at how gorgeous gorgeous it's already looking all i'm doing is making sure my knot is where i want it because you know how i like to have everything as perfect as i can i don't know why i always been that way but that's all i'm doing is adjusting it around once you have it ready you're gonna grab a your glue gun you're gonna add a little bit of glue to the knot just to seal it shut that's it let it dry let it seal shut cut any excess ribbon or string off and make sure you don't cut it too close to the knot because you don't want that knot untangling so that's why you put on the glue so it holds it nice and tight now we're ready for the next step Now, the next step is just to make sure that your beads are dry. Once they're super dry, go ahead and take them off the paintbrush and we're gonna be ready to build this garland. So just go ahead and take them off. They should be dry by now and they should be ready to put together. Now you can make as many beads as you want. You can make it as short as you want. You can make it as long as you want. I actually end up using six beads just to make this garland and it was the perfect size. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my burlap and we're going to make the knot to tie down the string. So it's, this is super easy. Once you make it, you're going to make a ton of them. You're going to make them different colors, different shapes, and different sizes. Look how simple I just made that loop, which is going to go on the top to tie everything together. Cut it. As, leave a little extra string in case you need to cut it off. Go ahead and grab your glue gun and we're going to seal this shut. And what I mean by seal it shut, we're going to add a little glue at the bottom in a straight line and we're going to twist it with our fingers and it will seal shut super easy. There's nothing to it. Just twist it with your fingers. Be careful. And it seals shut. Now it should be ready to make a knot. Go ahead and make a knot and the knot, make it at the end of where you added the glue. This is just so the beads won't pass through and you only need one knot. Trust me, the beads are not going to pass through and it is a perfect size every time, especially for these beads. They are on the smaller side. They're not the big ones. And let's get started. Now go ahead and grab one of your beads and let's get started and finish this garden. I'm going to go ahead and start with the pink. It is an adorable, like a bubblegum pink. This color is so gorgeous. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my white. And now you're going to do a slide it in. Now, if you have trouble sliding this in, this is another tip. Grab the tip of the string, add a little bit of glue on there, and you're going to seal it shut from the bottom. That's going to help for the bead to slide right in. It's super easy and watch, they're just gonna slide in like butter. This is one great tip that I wish I knew sooner, but you know how it goes, you figure them out and then you share them. So I'm sharing this with you. Then I'm gonna go ahead and slide them all in one by one and they're gonna look at how easy they slide in once you added that little bit of glue to the tip of the string. It's a great tip, let me tell you. Go ahead and slide them all in. Now the blue and the last one is the green. And look at how gorgeous it looks. Now if it doesn't slide in, go ahead and cut the tip off with your scissors and it should slide in as well. So look at how cute this is. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the tassel. All you're going to do is slide the ribbon through there. If you're having any trouble, just go ahead and use the back of a paintbrush Tie the ribbon to the paintbrush with a little bit of tape and it should slide right in. And once it does, just remove the paintbrush. And the string should stay right in. If not, go ahead and just use your hands and push it right through. And it should come out on the other side, it's super easy. Now we're gonna go ahead, once we have it in there, we're gonna go ahead and tie a knot. And it's gonna be super easy and fast to do. So don't get scared, take your time. If it comes off, oh well, slide it in again. And you see how it just slides in, grab it, and we're gonna tie a knot. Now we're gonna tie this knot super tight. We don't want nothing moving. We don't want nothing out of place. So go ahead and make a knot, it's super easy. I'm showing you right now. And then pull it, pull it, pull it. 
and pull it as tight as you can. I want you to pull it until the bead touches the top of the um, tassel. And then once you have it pulled, we're gonna go ahead and add some glue just to seal that shut as well. We don't want none of it moving. We're almost done and this is it. So just go ahead and pull it. Look at how I'm pulling it and pull it and pull it and pull it until it's super tight. Go ahead and do another knot and that's your choice. It's personal. If you wanna go ahead and add two knots, go ahead and add them and then just pull it super tight. It should tie up really easy. You shouldn't have any trouble. I went through a couple of um, bumps, but I got through them, and that's why I'm telling you exactly how to do it the right way. Once you have it as tight as you can, you should be all set. I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust anything that I don't like. I'm gonna move stuff around, and I'm gonna grab my glue, like I said, to seal it shut. I'm gonna cut any access string that I don't want, and all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glue there, and I'm gonna glue it together to the bead. I don't want nothing moving. The glue is going to go ahead and just adjust everything for me and make sure that nothing moves once we are done. Go ahead and add your glue and then we're gonna slide the glue inside the bead and it should seal it shut. It's that simple. If you're having trouble, skip this piece. It's not gonna fall apart and it's not gonna move anyways, but look at how easily it just went in. Take off any excess glue with your finger and let it dry once it's dry you are ready to start your final step and you're almost there look at how easy that was now once you make one you're going to be able to make a ton of them you're going to love it it's going to be one of your favorite things to make go ahead and grab your scissors and we're just going to chop the bottom go ahead and chop the bottom and just adjust anything how you want it and go ahead and adjust and cut go ahead and cut your string too if you feel that your string is in the same height and you want it all the same height go ahead and cut it if not look at how gorgeous this is isn't this going to be gorgeous to add to your braid done display to your two tier trays it's just going to give it that final look trust me once you're done you're going to love it and you're going to be making a ton of them and you're also going to make some to give away so i'm happy you made it i hope you guys make it and if you do tag me on instagram look how gorgeous it hangs there this is going to be perfect in my living room i know anybody who walks in is going to love it and is going to want one so i hope you guys make one and if you do tag me and until next time bye you guys